Oh, I have been extremely lazy in my garden. I did not touch it. After fall, going into winter, I have not touched it. And now I've got to pay the price. So don't be like me. Do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. Now I've got to clean up my garden. Oh my goodness, the weeds I've got, the dead plants and and limbs that I've got to clean up before I can plant anything. Now I should be planting starting now, but I'll have to do that next week. But today, I'm not gonna be out here all day. I'm gonna hit it and I'm gonna quit. I've got to get all the weeds out of every container that I own. <laughs> After I get the weeds out, I've got to turn the soil over. I've got to top the soil off. I'm going to be adding amendments to the soil and I'll show you those before I add them. So I'm gonna take you around right quick and I'm gonna show you what I've gotta do and what it looks like as a disaster. Yes, my garden is a disaster right now. <laughs> and then when I'm done, I'm gonna bring you around one more time and show you what I got accomplished okay so without further ado let's do a disaster walkthrough if you are new to the channel take a second and subscribe to the channel welcome 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 thank you for coming and hanging out with me today here in my garden if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much and channel members thank you so much from the bottom of my heart okay we've got a yard work done at least some of it. So let's go around and see the disaster that I need to clean up. It really does not matter where I start at, but this is one of my larger containers. All of this has got to come out. All of it. All of that. All of that has got to come out. Uh, I've got some onions. This is either onion or garlic. I don't even know what it is anymore. All of that has to come out. These are still some baby green, so I'll go around those. All of this has got to come out. Here's my parsley. I still have that growing. It's doing nicely. Of course, my blueberry bushes. Now, this was rosemary. It should come back, and it looks like it's trying in area, so I'm going to cut off all the dead part of that. But even in my blueberry bushes, I've got to get this out the bottom. You want to take all this kind of stuff out because all it does is compete. And you don't want anything to compete with what you're really going after. You don't want anything to compete with your veggies and your, your fruits. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all of this. These, I believe, or I don't know. It looks like something coming up. I think I had marigolds in here last year. I really don't know. Over here, that's coming up. Some of this stuff is mint that has spread. I'm getting rid of it. Again, this is one of my blueberry bushes. This is my rescue blueberry bush, but in the bottom of it, I've got to clean that out. You don't want any of that in there. I still have some of my Swiss chard growing, but as you see, here is a weed right beside it. I need to get it out of here so it won't struggle with it. This is my thyme that is starting to come back. It's a perennial. It's starting to come back, but I've got to get rid of a lot of the dead branches. And so is my oregano down here. Again, I talked about my asparagus recently, and there it is. I'm going to be cleaning the bottom of that up. Right here is mint. So I'm going to get rid of all the dead leaves, or dead leaves, all the dead limbs that are in here so that the mint can start to thrive. This right here was, I grew a lot of hibiscus last year, and they are supposed to be perennial in certain areas. I don't think this is going to come back, but I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to clean out the bottom of that. These are actually leeks, but I need to clean out the back bottom of that. Getting rid of these pots that are just sitting here empty. They're going to be gone. I'm getting rid of, this is, um, this is rosemary and it doesn't look too healthy in here. Might just go ahead and get rid of it. There is, the only thing that's supposed to be in this pot is, um, Oh, I can't think of it. The soap. <laughs> the soap. Um, oh, my goodness. I can't think of it. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen when I do think of it, or I'll let you know. It's the soap. It's the soap. It's a soap bush. I don't <laughs> okay. I uh, just need to get rid of that. In here, I've got a lot of garlic, but look at the bottom of that. I got to go in there and clean all of that out. Okay, there's not much in here 
with my celery only because I planted the celery so I cleaned it out a little bit I'm gonna clean it up even more over here I'm gonna clean this one up as well that's the extent of my garden that is the extent of my garden and as you can see at the bottom I gotta clean up everything oh something else I'm gonna be doing here this bucket right here is a disaster. I'm gonna switch it out. I've got a red one. Nothing wrong with this bucket, so I'll put it in my garage, but this is supposed to be my tools and my bag where I keep everything at, and as you can see, it is a hot mess, so I'm going to clean that up as well. But as you can see, as I bag up here, and you take a look around, I've just got a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of weeds to take care of, and this will be looking like it's supposed to real, real soon. Real, real soon. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so what I call the hard part is done. All right, that's getting all the weeds out of my bed so i'm gonna walk you around and see what they look like before i do anything else after i walk you guys around i'm going to put some amendments in my soil i have bags and bags of this this is actually my compost this is all the kitchen scraps and the pulp from me juicing and everything i got bags and bags of this over here been in my freezer i use what's called a loamy uh, to break it down. I put it in there and it breaks it all down until it looks like this. Let me open this up. It looks like fine wood chips. See that? That's what it looks like. And I'm going to sprinkle some of this all in my garden. I don't measure anything. I really don't. So I can't tell you any measurements of how much I'm putting in there. I'm just going to sprinkle some in there. It is what it is. It's worked for me. And that's one thing I want to stress to you guys. You can look at all the videos and talk to all the people you want. But at the end of the day, I want you to figure out what works for you. You do that by doing what you see me and other people doing. And then you say, ah, I like this better than that. Or this worked, but this didn't work so well in my garden because all of us are in different zones. And as I also try to tell people all the time, it doesn't matter even if we are in the same zone. You could be across the street, next door, and you could plant something and I could plant the exact same thing and yours flourishes and mine doesn't, okay? I don't know the rhyme and the reason in that, but I do know that everyone's garden is different, okay? I might sing to mine and they might flourish. I don't know. You might dance in your garden and it might flourish. I don't know, but make sure you start documenting it, writing it down, say, you know, okay, I planted this blueberry bush, it didn't do anything. I put this in it, I did this so many times, and I did. it didn't work, but this one over here worked. What did I do different? And figure it out. That's the way you learn your garden and what works for you. Okay, so I'm going to put my compost down. I am also, and I add this to every last single pot, okay? I do this once, every spring and if I have a fall garden and I turn my garden actually over I do it again but typically I plant a lot of perennials so I'll have some things that are still growing in the fall so I don't go too too hard in the fall as far as my fall garden however I am adding some blood meal this is blood meal um, it helps with foliage and it promotes growth uh, helps with the greenage and the color of it and I will also be adding bone meal to it. Uh, I add this to all of my pots. Bone meal helps with roots, bigger blooms, and just overall better plants. So I'll be adding again. I'm not measuring. <laughs> plants will get more than others. Just depends on how big the plant is or if something is in it. And I had a few surprises in my garden when I got the weeds out. So 
I'm gonna walk you guys around so you can see. I want you to kind of see every step of the way what my soil looks like right now, now that I've gotten all the weeds out. And I know some of you guys probably saw some of the weeds in the beginning and said, oh no, don't get rid of that. That's this, that's that. But it's not what I want in my garden, okay? So let's take another tour. Okay, this bed I actually had tomatoes in last year. This is the one that had the parsley in it. As you can see, the parsley is still there. Those are leaves. Leaves will break down and they're good for your garden. So I'm leaving those and I will be topping it off with more soil on uh, top of those existing leaves. I've gotten all the things out of the bottom of my blueberry bushes. This was my rosemary. It's starting to green up in sections. So I didn't take it up or I haven't cut it down because as you can see, it's got lots of green coming in. So I kind of just want to see what it will do, especially now that I've gotten the weeds out again. That's another blueberry bush right there. I actually grew hibiscus in this container last year. It grew tremendously well. So I've gotten everything out of it. Again, I left the leaves. I'll be topping it off with more soil. This pot is empty now. This pot has Swiss chard right in the middle and I grew, uh, what did I grow over here? I think uh, calendula last year around it, didn't do well, didn't like it, not doing it again. I had marigolds in here, didn't like them, not doing it again. I had peppers back there. And again, I cleaned out the bottom of my blueberry bush. Okay, this was my, or this is my asparagus. I've cleaned out the bottom of it. I tied it up so that I could get to the bottom of it. As you can see, it is all cleaned out. Over here is my oregano. I actually have some more oregano growing in a glass in there. I love oregano. So I'm going to plant it in this same pot. And I cut as much of the dead out as possible because a lot of the oregano that's coming back, again, oregano is a perennial. So as you can see, it is coming back. Over here, this is my Swiss chard. This is the main Swiss chard that I've cut off of all winter. And as you can see, it's doing well, especially since I took all of the, um, all of the um, weeds and things out of here. And here is my thyme. I cut as much as I could off, but again, as you can see, this is a perennial. And so it is starting to come back on top of the brown edges. So I didn't want to cut too much in there. Here, this is my mint. This is where it was just horribly, um, it had horrible um, old brown limbs in there. Cut those all out. Got that old hibiscus out of there. As you can see, I've gotten rid of those, um, what do you call them? Um, I can't think of anything today. Oh my goodness. Um, anyway, the buckets, the cloth buckets. <laughs> this is my, um, Oh my goodness, what is going on? I guess I'm getting tired, huh? These are my leeks, okay? In here, I don't have anything in this uh, container. Here is a, this is, oh, the ginger, the ginger soap. That's not what you call it. I know you don't call it ginger soap, but that's all I can think of. So you guys, you guys tell me in the comments what it's really called. I have to look it up. Nothing was in this pot, but I cleaned it up. This is all garlic, got it cleaned up. That was my celery. And this pot cleaned it up. Now, this was my surprise. Got all those weeds out of this container. This was that large container over there. Got all those weeds out of it. And look at all the red mustard greens I have growing in here. So naturally, I am going to keep these. And I thin them out. And this is what I have. And I also have collards down here growing as well that I didn't even know I had. So that's what happens when you let your garden grow or go. <laughs> okay, so my soil is all done. My amendments are in. And for those that want to know what soil I'm using, this is it. You can see this bag from here. This is the soil that I am using. It is locally sourced, however, uh, or sourced near me. However, this particular company, uh, Near Source Organics is what they are called. They sell uh, organic soil for raised beds and containers all over the place but the bags are different colors depending on the area. So you might can Google it and find out where it is. It's also not very expensive compared to a lot of the other ones. I think this is a, what, um, 22 pound bag. 
Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah, 22 pound bag. And I think it was only like five or six dollars. So, you know, I grabbed a bunch. I actually had all of these bags. I still have one and a half bags left in my garage, but I had all these bags from last year because I stocked up because I didn't know if I would find it again this year. So I had used two and a half bags. All these containers that you saw, uh, top them all off to where they need to be. So they're all topped off now. Now I'm getting ready to go in and water, okay? Um, typically, and then after I water, I'm going to give you guys the last tour of how it looks out here after I finish everything. Once I finish watering and I be right before I get ready to go indoors, there's one more important thing that I do to my garden. Um, and I will show you that and I'll show you how I do it right before I step back in the house, okay? So, uh, next thing is watering. I would, I'm gonna water lightly. I wanna water in all the amendments and in the soil that I added to it. Uh, typically, I would go behind myself watering and I would water again with 511. 511 is a uh, fish emulsion, fish fertilizer. And I would typically go back in and um, do that. But however, <laughs> I have like five or six containers of this stuff somewhere in my garage. Okay, can't find it just yet. So I will come back out here probably tomorrow or the next day when I find it and I'll water it in with the 511. And I'll do that before I plant anything next week. I will be planting uh, my seeds and I will go pick up my seedlings that I'm going to plant. And after that, it's going to be growing, growing, growing. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Next week, we will also get back to the last few of the medicinal garden series that I have uh, for you guys. But I did want to mention if you missed any of the previous uh, series plants that I'm planting in my medicinal garden. If you missed any of that, I have a playlist, a medicinal garden playlist. So they're all in there. That's all in that playlist. And you can literally go from one to whatever the last one is that I have in there at this particular time. So uh, I will also leave a link to that playlist in the description of this video and at the very end of it. Okay, so let's finish up so we can do our last tour. Without further ado, let's look around. This is my asparagus. And here I have some thyme, Swiss chard. I'm sorry, in here I have oregano. Over here, Swiss chard and thyme. We've got our mint growing on over here and these are empty pots or empty pots. Here is Swiss chard and as you can see, from the lighting on the camera, this right here is my section of a lot of sunlight, at least six hours of sunlight. So anything I wanna plant that has a lot of sunlight needs to be in this area over here. That's my rescue blueberry, it's doing well. This is my a whole entire yard. I don't garden in ground. This is where I had my hibiscus last year. I probably will put peppers there this year. And again, here's another blueberry bush. Keep in mind, if you want to grow blueberries, you will need more than one variety. This is the rosemary that I decided to leave here and see what happens. And this is my original blueberry bush that I cut way down this year. Here is my parsley and just empty spaces, collard greens, leeks, mustard greens, empty pots, celery, and garlic. Before I show you the last thing that I'm going to do, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my garden. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you are not subscribed, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me once again. And channel members, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'm getting ready to take everything inside and go inside. But because I put my compost in, which is food, bottom line, 
I am going to walk around the perimeter of my garden with my favorite, Repel All. See all these little animals down here? Plus many, many more. This actually keeps them away. It doesn't harm them, but they hate the smell. I mean, we've got rabbits on here. I don't even know what half these things are uh, that are on here because y'all know me. But anyway, take a good look. <laughs> so all of these plus many, many more. Uh, I just sprinkled. This is uh, grandulas. I sprinkle it around the perimeter. Do not put this on your plants, okay? It's not for putting on the plants or in the pots. I go around it so they won't come into the garden. That's why I have an area designated for my garden space. And I just mark off the perimeter with the repel all and I don't have to worry about it unless it rains. If it rains, then I'll need to come back out and do it again. I also have this in a spray bottle because occasionally I'll come and I'll just squirt a little area or something like that. It's also back up because I prefer the grandulas. Okay, I'll show you how I put it down. Okay, I am pretty sure that you can get this online, but I get mine at my local Walmart. And as you can see, I'm just walking around the perimeter of my garden and shaking it on there okay it's a little windy out here so it's blowing a little bit it's best to do it when it's not windy but because i just composted i needed to go ahead and do this This is Zone 8A, and anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. 